Hey everybody, it's me and I'm going to show you how to make kind of a cute glasses case. Um, it's cute with a ribbon, kind of scrunches up at the top to keep it closed. Or it's like a little baggy or you can kind of make it in different shapes to make it a coin purse. So I'm going to show you how to do that. What you'll need is your fabric. I'm just using a black and white design fabric. You're starting to string machine, sorry, with some thread, scissors, and a ribbon to go at the end if you want a ribbon or if you just want to open. Um, I just cut it. I did it at the length of the, uh, sorry. So sorry. I did it the length of this. So this to here, I did it about three times that each way to get my fabric. Don't worry if it's not exactly perfect. Now moving on to doing it. Once you have cut it and everything, take your machine, sewing machine. Get it all ready and prepared. Ready? Okay, let's go. So now, take your fabric. See how this side is kind of more defined than this side? Take the side that you want as, for people to see and fold the top to the other side where you don't want people to see. So it looks like this. Now sew that. You want to you want to leave kind of a little pocket so you can put your ribbon through. Ready to sew? Okay. Done with that one. See, this is a really quick, easy thing to do. Just so you know. So now, snip off the excess thread. You want to do this pocket first because if you do it the other side, it's kind of, it's pretty hard to do it. Or you'll just have to take out your stitches and start all over. Trust me, I've done that before, and it's hard to do. And with this, I'm not following a pattern, so I can't show you it. Anything I made this kind of from my imagination. That's okay. So now that you have a little pocket, comes out on either end. Okay, ready? Okay. So this is n now you can see real, really, re really well <sighs> my defined side and my not so defined side. This is the side I want to be shown. This side. So now fold it. So you, you see your pocket and then the less defined side on the outside. Don't worry. It, you'll still see the defined side, the side you want, on the outside in the end. Okay, so now you're going to sew it again. Now, sew that side. Okay. Literally, like, only like two more steps left, including putting the ribbon through. So don't worry, you're pretty much almost done. Really close. So now snip off the excess of that. Okay. Now almost done. So you're gonna get this sort of look. You'll have the pocket which is stitched up and one stitch on the other side, right here. You can't really see it. Um, now you're going to stitch the bottom, which should be still open. So now, you're going to stitch that up. Snip off the excess. Now you're done with your sewing machine. So, now just pick out your ribbon. Um, it's any ribbon you want. I'm using, sorry, kind of a plastic, it's not cloth, it's plastic ribbon. Woohoo! To put it through. It's okay if your ribbon's longer than it will be because you will cut it later. I don't like cutting it before because 
then what if it's too short and you're just like left out and that's not and then you have to use a different color and all that other good stuff so now take your ribbon and put it through one side of the opening just feed it through kinda have your fingers there make sure it's not like stopping or getting coupled up uh... i kinda forgot how to do this before it's not really a way i think that other people do it but that's the way i do it and i just put my finger in there and kinda push it through it takes a while trust me uh... this is actually really quick i made it so many so far and I really like the pattern on this fabric too. I got mine from Hobby Lobby, uh, and so, and then uh, I just found the kind of plastic string, and um, I got my sewing machine from Shopco. It's a Singer, not really that electronic. Well, it doesn't have like one of those light up strings, screens or anything. Uh, it does plug into the wall and everything, of course, but it's not, like, high-tech sewing machine. Ah, okay. I've just been putting my finger through, and then I stuck my other finger in to grab it. Where did it go? Did it go all the way out again? Really? Oh, great. Well, you get the following idea. It'll end up like this. I'll keep working on this and I came up with this idea well, I thought my well I just came up with the idea because I wanted to do something like oh I'll just do some less gauge and make little pouches and like I thought of the idea of how I was going to close it I didn't want to put on those little metal snap thingies that you put on because I thought I don't really have those and uh I don't think that will look so good because I think they look better with maybe like silky stuff and everything. So now, sorry you guys, kind of, it's like really not going so well for me right now. Okay. Ha. Hold it with the other finger and pull it through. You got it? Okay. And turn your bag inside out. Make sure both you can see both of the strings still, both ends. Make the ends all pop out. Now, take these, push it like that. See what I mean? Cute little glasses case. Now, sorry about that. Now take it and cut it. You'll have a lot left if you start out with the long piece of string. And so now, just tie in a little bow knot, whatever you want, and you're done. It's hard to do, because you saw how much trouble I was doing just putting the string through, but it's okay. Now, this is more of a little pouch. Could be a sunglasses case. But, thanks for watching, and hope you enjoy your sunglasses case pouches. Anything you like. Thanks, guys. Bye.